meantime, Unified Command is preparing to remove a piece of the key bridge on top of the Dolly cargo ship. And as 11 News investigates first reported yesterday, crew members, they'll stay on board while explosives are used to break up that piece. One maritime lawyer is questioning why those crew members aren't being temporarily removed from the ship. Investigative reporter Tali Taylor joins us now live in studio. And Tali, Unified Command released a video about the explosive. Yeah, and this is that video with a narrator explaining how highly controlled explosives will be used to get part of the key bridge off the ship. But the maritime lawyer I spoke to says there's no legal reason preventing the ship's crew from being evacuated while the explosives are detonated. 11 News Investigates reported on Tuesday the Unified Command has decided to use precision explosives to remove part of the key bridge from the bow of the Dolly cargo ship. Unified Command saying it's safe for the 21-member crew to shelter in place on board the ship while the detonation takes place. After learning that the crew will be staying on the ship while they use these precision explosives, what was your reaction? Uh, it was a little bit of a shock. While Alex Giles is quick to point out that he's not an expert in salvage operations or the use of explosives, he has been a maritime lawyer for more than two decades. And he says while there was a federal law passed after 9-11, that makes it more difficult for foreign crew members to have free shore leave on U.S. soil. He also points out that Unified Command has another option. They can disembark the 21 crew members and put them on another vessel. And the vessel could sail away a thousand yards. And they can be confined, not on land, not free to just run about. Giles says Unified Command may well have come to the conclusion that there's a 99% chance that nothing will go wrong with the crew on board the ship. That still leaves a 1% chance that something goes wrong with the explosives. So if they were to, with full knowledge of the risk assessments, leave the crew on when they could have easily just pulled them off, and God forbid it happens, you know, it results in something larger than it should, that would be a mistake in my, my opinion. And just hours ago, I spoke to the executive director of the Siemens Church Institute, which has boarded the Dolly twice since it hit the Key Bridge. He tells me some crew members are worried they won't be allowed to leave Baltimore as long as the FBI and NTSB investigations continue, and that some of them can't pay their bills back home because the FBI seized all of their electronic devices. You can read my full reporting on this right now on the WBAL-TV app. For 11 News Investigates, I'm Tolly Taylor.